Rhode Island State College, whose high-scoring basketball teams with their sensational type of play are famous throughout the nation. Basketball is truly a New England heritage, for it was in Springfield, Massachusetts, that Dr. James Naismith invented and first introduced the game. And it is especially fitting that this New England school, with a style of play closely resembling the original game, is one of the leaders in the sport today. It is here in Rodman Hall Gymnasium that Rhode Island State teams prepare themselves for intercollegiate competition. At four o'clock, the players report for practice. This is an unusually small squad for this basketball conscious school, necessarily so, for the male enrollment is about 125. Every member of the squad gets a basketball to take out on the floor. Well, the first thing these boys do is sharpen up their eyes. Basketball games are won by putting the ball through the hoop the most number of times. Just to make it harder, a smaller ring is set inside the regulation basket. The idea being, if you can put them through the smaller basket, whose diameter is three inches smaller than regulation, that when the ring is removed, it's easy. Coach Frank Keeney, who has masterminded Rhode Island teams for nearly 25 years, lays great stress on fundamentals. The ball is held in the fingers, not in the palms of the hands. And the hands are on the sides of the ball. In shooting, Keeney holds the ball the same way and brings it up and forward before releasing it. Like most coaches, Keeney is a firm believer in the adage that practice makes perfect. So the squad lines up for some shots from the foul line. Most basketball games are won or lost on the foul line. And the team that can make its free throws count is more often than not the winner. The player should keep his eyes on the front of the rim of the basket and throw the ball in a high enough arc so that it drops over the front of the rim. It should be dropped into the basket clean and at no time should the backboard be used. Ernie Calverly, star of Rhode Island's team, uses one hand in shooting. He's an expert at this Western style shot, is the country's leading scorer, making 259 points in nine games this year. That's an average of better than 28 points a game. Here he is going to classes. And he seems to concentrate on what he's doing in the chemistry laboratory, just the same as he does on the basketball court. Like most star athletes, Calverly is a good student. And here we see him at a session with the books in his room. But all work and too much basketball isn't a good combination either. So Calverly, with the rest of the boys in his fraternity house, takes it easy in front of the fireplace. The ability to relax is an accomplishment necessary to peak athletic skill, and these boys seem to have it. Coach Keeney calls for some offensive plays. Calverly fakes to the left, passes to the right, and a layup shot is the result. This time, Calverly takes a bounce pass from his forward as he drives in under the basket. Another play, and this time Calverly, after faking, rifles an overhand pass underneath the basket. Now Calverly crosses up the defense by passing to the other side of the court. Another attack as Calverly dribbles all the way. He deliberately overruns the basket, pivots to avoid the defense man. Going in the same as before, this time Calverly bounce passes the ball behind him in what is known as the trailer play. This looks like the same thing, but the forward comes out to meet Calverly instead of following him in. One of the features of Rhode Island State's type of play is the long one-handed pass. Keeney believes in playing the game in the front court, and he teaches that the fastest way to get the ball there is to throw it. The idea is to throw the ball with a stiff arm similar to the way a baseball catcher pegs to second base. If thrown in this manner, it can be perfectly controlled. The great danger in this type of pass is that more often than not, a wild pass results and possession of the ball is lost. But here you see Keeney and Shea with the ball under perfect control at all times. The main feature of Keeney's system is the pressing defense. 
A team losing the ball does not retire to center court, but harasses its opponents. The result is wide open basketball with plenty of scoring. As the Rhode Island team comes out on the floor, New York's Madison Square Garden is jammed with a capacity crowd of over 18,000 fans. Before the game, the players warm up by taking shots at the basket and adjusting themselves to general playing conditions. Here are their opponents, St. John's of Brooklyn. Center jump and the game is on. St. John's takes the ball, but fast pressing defense work hurries the Brooklyn boys and the basket is missed. Rhode Island turns on speed trying to pierce the tightly knit defense and they do, but the shot is bad. St. John's driving offense puts the Brooklyn team in the lead. taking the spotlight, Rhode Island comes back as that one-hand western shot sends the ball through the hoop. Taking possession, St. John's comes down the court as Godkin demonstrates some fancy dribbling. The ball is passed to Summers and it's another Brooklyn basket. Again, it's Calverly. He dribbles in fast and makes a nice layup shot. Starting the second half, St. John's drives under the Rhode Island backboard and scores on the second attempt. Again, it's Calverly demonstrating he is truly a basket wizard. 